Good morning. All right, I already did one DoorDash before the good morning. It was $8 going, I think, three or four miles. And then I drove out towards the rest of the restaurants because I got to make more money this week than I did last week. Got another one, six bucks going 2.2 miles, I think, picking up a Chick fil A. I'm waiting at a red light right now to get to the Chick fil A. Oh boy, that joint was already ready. After dropping off the DoorDash, I just accepted this Instacart. I don't know what I'm doing. This is against my better judgment. <laughs> it's $32. It's only 15 items, but it's going 20 freaking miles. What What am I, th why? Why'd I do this? This is what happens when you feel desperate. It's the first Instacart I've seen all day, so hopefully they're gonna treat me right after I do this one. DoorDash, 654 miles. The good thing about that uh, Wegmans order is it left me in an area where I can get more orders. So we're gonna keep keep moving. Happy customer. All right, I got another one. I'm really not hyped on it. It's 750. Got to shop for three items at Dollar General, and of course, it's two 25 pound things of cat litter. But it's headed in the direction I want to go because. It's just not busy enough for me to be sitting around. That's my opinion. All right, that DoorDash was easy, but she's heavy. But it's fine. It just means I needed a workout. And it was only like, a, I was already heading back home before I accepted that one. And it's like an extra mile out of the way. So two miles out of the way, I guess, to drive there and now back. And I helped somebody get their kitty litter. Hopefully it's an old person who has a hard time lifting it. Gotta be positive. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. We got another one. I'm back in my jurisdiction. 650, two or three miles. We're doing it. can't even believe what just happened. I just got this DoorDash, 1750, four miles, got a shop for four items, a giant. Crazy, I just walked like a mile with Diesel to get to the next zone so I could sign in. Cause uh, Instacart is completely unreliable now. So I'm gonna have to start doing more DoorDash. Like, yeah, I'll drive more miles, but I can't make less than $100 every day on Instacart. That's not gonna cut it. All right, right before I dropped off the DoorDash, I also got this Instacart, I already shopped for it. The time is a lie. It took me longer than that because they got three things in the meat department. So I had to get all that meat cut before I started shopping. Then Food Lion yesterday, like, I don't know, lots of empty shelves. Nobody from the bread, the bread guys haven't shown up to stock anything, so. They didn't have any bagels. Like they had two things of cinnamon raisin bagels. They wanted everything bagels. Anyway, we're going to drop it off. All right, I got an amazing Instacart. It is shopping for three customers, which isn't my favorite, but I know I've delivered to two of them. The second customer, always leaves an amazing tip doesn't order that much it's a little older lady she's very sweet anyway it's 60 dollars. i think it was 43 items and i gotta drive four miles so heck yeah this is gonna i made like a hundred dollars between 7 15 and 12 15 so <clears throat> i did take quite a long like 30 minute dog walk 
but still this increases my earnings by a lot i'm super grateful for this one let's go knock it out knocked that one out pretty good i could have been faster but customer c their order was having a bunch of had to send them so many pictures like it was cool because they were interacting with me and they were like i gotta figure out how to mark you as my favorite chopper so i'm hyped on that but then they were adding stuff and asking me to look for this item and that item and it got confusing because I'm like sending them pictures of stuff that's out of stock and they're asking me to get different stuff and I got a little confused, but we got it all straightened out. Customer A is going to be like, what the hell took so long? Because they just ordered four cases of Mountain Dew and some tortillas and some frozen chicken strips. That order could have been done in no time. Anyway, I'm pulling up to drop it off now. second one off and right as I walked in the door got a notification on my watch that someone increased the tip so I'm guessing that's the second order I did I didn't film any drop-off action on the third one because she met me and helped me down with an extra fiver she was like I was an extra pain in the butt on today sorry about that and I was like yeah I started getting a little confused at the end but I got everything you wanted so Alright, immediately got another Instacart. It's like 35 bucks, going 1.6 miles, 43 items, 50 units. I already looked at the items. There's a lot of yogurt, and that yogurt section was empty. So I'm gonna run the store backwards. Normally, yogurt would be the last aisle I hit, but I'm gonna go the other way because I already know I'm gonna have trouble with that yogurt section. I knocked this one out. That order went really good, except last item, they ordered black cherry seltzer water. And it had no black cherry seltzer water. And I even messaged her and waited like three or four minutes. So that's added time that I'm telling you, I had that joint done in like 10 minutes for 43 items. I mean, I did refund on quite a, fit of, <clears throat> quite a few of the yogurts cause the yogurt section was not looking good. But it was mostly yogurt and lean cuisine, so that was easy. All right, so that was a pretty good freaking day. I think I'm gonna be done for now. I made $200, I started at 7.15, it's 3.07, so we'll call that an eight hour day, $200. I drove like right around 90 miles, we'll just call it 100 miles, so $2 per mile. I wish every day could go like that. Oh, back out here for a walk. Just hit my goal for the day of 11,111 steps. All right, got another one. $13.25 going five miles, 12 items, 17 units. We're going shopping.
All right, all right, all right. Tuesday evening now. Just got this amazing DoorDash. Two Cheesecake Factory orders. 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 $27. It was going pretty far, but we're on the motorcycle. We don't care. Let's go. All right, so that DoorDash took me almost an hour, a little under an hour. It was a lot of driving. And the second customer lived so far down this back road, but cool little spot. Checking out new stuff. These people got money. Look at this freaking yacht. Thanks, man. All right, got this one five bucks, 2.3 miles. Normally not a fan of $5, but we're on a motorcycle. We're going to stay busy. All right, after we dropped off the Fuji, I saw I just got a Pizza Hut for 10 bucks going five miles, but I'm not equipped to carry pizzas, so had to decline. All right, I just accepted the DoorDash. It's definitely not what anyone would think is a good one, but it's like seven o'clock, sun goes down in about an hour. I'm not trying to get cold. This one's headed back in my direction. So it's 975 for eight miles. I'm already sitting at the five guys too, so it can't get any more convenient than this. Let's go pick it up. Chase. Yep. Thanks, man. All right, got another Uber. Doesn't look like a good one. Eight bucks. 6.6 6 miles, but it's headed right back towards my house, so. It's a good one. And we got drinks. So we gotta be careful. Uh, nope. Not gonna do that. Gonna take the bag out of the bag. Because it will fit much better. So like so. And then. I'm gonna show y'all how I got this in here. Boom, then we're gonna put another bag on top. Diesel's eating dirt. All right, so I had a bit of a fail on that last Uber. The three drinks, it didn't work out good. Oh, I'm getting a DoorDash. No way. Yeah, that was a hell no. Six bucks or six fifty going six miles and they have to go on the military base. No, I'm not doing that. But anyway, the Uber. When I got there, one of the drinks had fallen over in the cup holder, but the lid was on so tight that it didn't spill. It looked like obviously it spilled a little bit because the straws, like the wrapper to all the straws were wet. So and then the food, because the bag was soggy, <clears throat> when I grabbed it, it ripped a hole in the side of the bag. So it looked like I really tampered with that order, but the guy was raking his yard when I pulled up. So I went to hand it to him and I was like, yeah, you know, obviously I have a motorcycle helmet on, so I didn't say, but I was like, my setup isn't the greatest. Hopefully your food isn't messed up. If it is just mark it in the app. So I might get a bad rating, you know, I'll let y'all know, but that won't be till the next video. So I really appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button, watch the suggested video do all the YouTube stuff. Take it easy.